No ma'am. No ma'am. Now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now? Yes, ma'am. Can you see now? Yes, ma'am. This is what I have done earlier also. Okay. No, ma'am. Come only. Wait. Yeah. So everyone can see this now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'm explaining you the Josephus theorem. Total number of nodes as an example I've taken as seven nodes. So starting point is here. And count entered by the user is let's say three. This may vary. Okay now. I, as an example, I'm taking three. In the lab, you can take it as four as a count and check by deleting, etc. Okay now. How do we start deleting? Starting point is zero, correct? This is zero. From see, if I am zero, one, two, three. That way we have to delete. Correct. Huh? Now this is zero, one. Two, three. First node which I should delete is this. The deleted node is treated as zero. One, two, three. So the next node which is going to be deleted is seven. Now this is zero. One, two, three. So this is done. Uh, gone. Zero. One, two, three. Now this is zero. One, two, three. Now this is zero. One, two, three. So, what is the output we should print now? The safe position is, we'll say, is five. The node which is having five is the safest position. This is how you have to calculate. So, we have to keep on deleting each node till we left with one node. Understood? How to, how to do this one if people understood? Everybody understood? Write down like this manner, 10 nodes now. Write down, 10 nodes you write. 10 nodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, only you people start with. 1, 2, 3, 4, so up to 7, 8, 9, 10. 3 more nodes you add it like this, make it. Fast you make it. Take the counter as 4. Tell me the safest position. Tell me the safest position now. All of you, online students also do it. Take it in anti-clockwise direction because I'm doing it in anti-clockwise direction. Counter is five or four, I said, correct? Fourth node to be deleted, no, not third node. Every fourth node should be deleted. Six, ma'am. Six? Who got six? Six, uh, Sharon is saying, or Niharika? Niharika, ma'am. Niharika, turn on the camera there in ISM Hyderabad. Okay, ma'am. Six, sir. Madhu, how much? Six. Hemant? Hey, like that if you write, you'll learn it. <laughs> so only I told you, write it like this, what I wrote that. Huh? Mm. Write it in circle and frame. Got six, sir? Mm. Huh? Sure, huh? Six. six is correct, yes. everybody? I'll take that as an answer or you want me to try? You want me to try or is it correct answer? I'll try once. Okay. Zero it is. One, two, three, four. Zero. One, two, three, four. Z zero. One, two, three, four. Zero. One, two, three, four. Zero. One, two, three, four. Zero, 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 one, two, three, four.
correct good there is some formula shortcut see now to 10 nodes okay we can do it you you take 100 nodes will you keep doing it this is one aptitude question also soldiers are standing in a circle not circle maybe in a line one soldier will uh, use the sword and he will hit the one person and who will do some, something like this count i'm saying that like four person every four person should get deleted huh? like that they have given one question this is a short shortcut formula for that one. find out yourself for that because if such question comes to you here also you should know you cannot keep writing so many notes now nah? 10 is okay if it is 20 also it will be too much only for us will you write 100 notes and you will start doing that it's difficult find out the formula for that okay now nah? so we'll do the program for this now so uh, safest remember this itself for the answer we got six fourth note to be deleted correct huh? so we'll take a 10 notes how to write the code for this one we'll understand okay uh yeah we need some extra pointer definitely uh because we have to deallocate the memory now correct huh? now see here start pointer is already here zero it is one two three four that means the first note to be deleted is this to delete this node, somebody should be pointing here. Who is that somebody? Temporary pointer. Now to delete this one, before I free this one, this fourth node should get connected to sixth node. No, no. So that I can free this. Correct? So to connect from here to here, I need somebody here. Somebody should be pointing here. Who is that somebody? Start itself. Circular linked list advantage is that one. I can bring this start instead of here, I can bring the start here. If the counter value is 4, start should be moved for 3 times. Now start is here now. Start is here. 1, 2, 3 times. Use one loop. Move the start for position minus 1 time or counter minus 1 time. Correct? Huh? Start will come here. Now once the start is pointing here, I can keep the temp here. So if the start is here, temp is here, I can do this linking. How to write the code for that? Start of next is equal to temp of next. Then free the temp. Correct. Over. Next. Again, from where I am standing, from there I need to move three times. So this is called as zero. So only I told you. This is like zero. One, two, three. That means next time start should come here. Same for loop will repeat. Count minus one time will move the start. So start will come here. Now start is no more pointing here. If start comes here, who will come here? Temp will come here. If temp comes here, start of next is equal to temp of next, free the temp. Getting it? Understood this one? That's all we have to repeat now. Correct? Huh? See here. I will write it with the diagram and I'll explain you people. Please try to understand now. I will keep my start pointer back there. Okay now. So this is our uh, so. I'll start writing the code. You people don't take down. First understand the code. Okay now. Okay. Okay, why Josephus? We'll call it as Josephus theorem only now. Why Josephus it is? Hmm. 
what are the pointers we need we need only one extra pointer so i'll take it as what node star temp where to initialize the temp we'll see later not now only because first that should be moved then na uh, ha huh. what and all we need extra integer counter means on count of what 3 or 4 like that then i for looping purpose okay what else we need we'll see if anything is required we'll add it okay what's the first question we'll ask the user printf enter what enter the counter value correct ah huh? or enter the position for deletion also you can say scan it percentage d and and of count so according to my example now total number of nodes we have is 10 count is 4 we'll assume it like that okay now we have to start the loop keep on deleting till we left with one node so what is the condition for our loop while start of next till not equal to start correct hmm. now what start is here start of next is pointing here so it's not equal to start condition true come inside the loop now start need to be moved count minus one time so i'll take a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than count minus 1 why count minus 1 everyone understood yes sir no i I'll, i'll explain you with the uh, again so i have to keep moving the start how to move the start start is equal to start of next start is equal to start of next now take the example this itself this itself okay now according to me count is 4 Zero, one, two, three, four. This should be deleted. The node with the data five should be deleted. To delete this one, start should be here. Correct? Ah. Now, I zero na zero less than count minus one. Count means four. Four minus one means three. Zero less than three. True. Start is equal to start of next. Start will come here. Correct? I plus plus. Now I is one. One less than three. Condition true. Start is equal to start of next. Start will come here. I plus plus two two less than three condition true start is equal to start of next start will come here now count is I plus plus three three less than three false then see we wanted start to be pointing to fourth position now means the node with the four see it is pointing now nowhere it is pointing here it's not at all pointing here now start is pointing to the fourth node we are coming out of the for loop now. Correct? Huh? Now tell me what I should do. I should keep the temp here, na? I should keep the temp here. Temp should come and point here. Tell me how to write the code for that. Temp should come here. I'll write it as T. Here. T equal to start of next. Is equal to start of next. Very good. Done, na? Now what? Tell me. Next code. Tell me. Now I should do this. Start of next equal to temp of next. Okay. That's all. So I should write here. Start, start of next is equal to temp of next. Ah, huh. next what? After that, free ah, temp. Free the temp. Free the temp. Done now. So here I'll write free the temp. Ah, free the temp. Close. See here we are inside this while loop only still. Correct? Ah. We are still inside the while loop. Now, according to us, what happened? This node is deleted. Now we are in the loop. Start of next. Start means this. Start of next is this. Start of next not equal to start. True. Come here. I zero. I less than three. I I plus plus. That means start will be moved for three times. Three times, na. That means now start is here. This is no more exist. Remove this. You understand? This is no more exist. Now start will move three times means start one time two time three time that means start will come here correct ah start will come here start is no more pointing to this now when we come out of the for loop now temp is equal to start of next that means temp will come here now correct ah then what start of next is equal to temp of next start of next is equal to temp of next that means this free the temp so this is gone second time over third will do. Now start will be moved three times now again. Start will be moved three times from here means this is 
zero, one, two, three. That means it's pointing here. If this points here, who will come here? Temp will come here. If temp comes here, means it will join here. We remove this. Correct? Huh? Now again, start will be moved three times. So one, two, three times. That means start is here now. I'll just scratch this one. Huh. If start is here, who will come here? Temp will come here. Now start of next is equal to temp of next. That means it will come here. This is going to die. Done. Now again, start will be moved three times. So start will be moved three times means from here. One, two, three. That means start is here. Correct? Huh? Help me if I'm going wrong. Start is here. Temp is here. Correct? Huh? Let me start of next is equal to temp of next. Free the temp. This is gone. Now start is here. Three times you move. One, two, three. That means start will come here. If start comes here, temp will come here. If temp comes here, start of next is equal to temp of next. This will die. Now start will be moved three times. One, two, three. That means start is here. Correct? Huh? I'm going correct. So start is here. Then that means temp is here. Correct? Huh? This is our temp. Start of next is equal to temp of next. That means this. This is gone. Now start is here. We have to move three times. Start is here. One, two, one, two, three times. It will come here only. One, two, three. It will come here only. Hello? Temp will come here. Correct? Huh? Start of next is equal to temp of next means what? It will come and connect. Hello? Ha. Huh? Ma'am, in real life, where will we will use this, ma'am? Where in which application we will use this? Not able to hear you. In which application we will use? Wait this a minute, I'll come back to you. Let me complete off last one node. I'll delete off. Now start is here only. Move for three times means one, one, two, three. That means start will be this one. Correct? Huh? Start will be this one. Temp will be this one. Correct? Huh? Now start of next is equal to temp of next means it will come and point to itself. Free temp. Now you check the condition. Start of next not equal to start. No, it is equal to start. Come out. When you come out, what you should print? Starts data, you should print. That is the safest position. That means now after closing this while loop, after closing this while loop, you should print here what? Print a safe position. We'll write it as safe position is equal to percentage D start arrow data. Then, then close your hmm. start arrow data, then close the pro function. It. It's working. I have demonstrated with the coding all code also diagram also. Understood? Easy. Reversing a, uh, re reversing a linked list logic, everyone understood? Yes, no doubt in that. Now, Joseph has understood. We are moving the start pointer only that you have to take care here, which is possible because it's a circular link list. Because of which we are avoiding extra one pointer usage. We are avoiding that. Correct? Huh? Everyone clear? Done. You should get out to properly now. To the same program, just add this function now. Okay, now. Yeah, now tell me if someone, someone was asking me the question. Who is that? Who was asking me the question? Any doubt, any any question, please ask me now. Hmm. Who was in asking me time. some question? In real time, in which application I will use this now? This is this is some process creation. See, have you people gone through with the Linux operating Linux operating system? In Linux yeah. operating system, processes, each node is like one one process based on the priority and all deleting, giving the priority, doing that work. We are going to use this concept. The, you know what actually the um, the elementary part of your C program like pointers, dynamic number location you have learned in C level one. There you must have one. They there you must be having some question now, like where when to do dynamic memory location, when to do uh, pointer usage, when we should free memory, etc. etc. See that we are doing it now. Correct. Huh? Now question comes here is like this: what you have asked, like ma'am, where to use this one? It is your OS now. The next module. I can say the complete operating system concept is behind uh, is developed using your linked list only. Any one of the linked list. Okay.
Okay, it is. Have you understood this now? Joseph's problem is clear. Hmm? Write down the code. Void to the your circular link list program only you add up. Okay. Joseph's. Hmm. What and all pointers we need here? Node star temp. You're not supposed to initialize it in the beginning itself. Correct? Huh? Then integer i as well as the counter. Count is for the uh, the what counter value to ask from the user. So ask from the user to enter the counter value. And a percentage d and a count. Okay. So now we have to keep on deleting. Start of next till not equal to start. Keep moving the start. Start is equal to start of next. Done. Uh, oh, sorry. What we did? What what I did? Yeah, sorry. What I should use? For loop I should use now. For i zero, i less than count minus one, i plus plus. Why count minus one? You people understood now. One step behind, we should be we should be keeping the start pointer. Once we come out of this for loop, what we should do here? Temp equals to start of next. Then no, that connection we have to do now. No. Start of next equals to temp of next. Then we have to say. Free the m, then close the while loop. Then here you should print save position is percentage d start arrow data. So only I told you people store the data like uh, don't store the random data. We are using data only as our positions. That is my file. So it has to be ready. Okay, it is done. Understood this program now. You should know to calculate. Find out the shortcut method for this one. Okay, now. So with this, we completed two types, two linked list, single link list also, circular link list also. What is the drawback of single link list? That is the overall drawback of our link list. We cannot access randomly. Is the random access is not allowed. Is the general drawback. If you take a circular link list, also same drawback. Please. Hmm. In general, what is the drawback of single link list? It is one way, na. You need directional. Can you come back? Once you start traveling, can you travel back? No. So that is the drawback we say here. And if you see. Add position. Take an example of add position in single link list. We use two temporary pointers now. Temp one, temp two. Correct. Huh? Delete at the end. We use temp one, temp two. Correct. Huh? See, additional pointers are required because of single link here. All these things we can overcome with the help of double link list. Double link list. See, in single link list means unidirectional. Double link list means what you know? Both the direction you can travel. You start traveling in a forward direction. You reach the end again. You can start traveling back till you start the, uh, till you reach the starting point. Two way traversal. First one. Second one. We were using two two pointers for doing some operations, which we can overcome by using only one pointer because it has double links. Two links will be there. One link if you remove also another link will be there. So we don't need any additional pointers. Using only one extra pointer, we can do all the operations. You don't need so many pointers. Understanding? Clear? So take down here itself. 
drawbacks of SLL. Drawbacks of SLL. Unidirectional is the first drawback. Unidirectional means what? We cannot travel in both the direction. Only one direction we have to travel. Second one is needs additional pointers for some of the some of the insertion and deletion operations. So what is the solution? Solution is double link list. So the solution is double link list. So as the name itself says, double link. Double link means what? Two links will be there. See, in single link list, maximum we have we, we can take any number of data with one link. But in double link list, you can take any number of data, but two links are minimum. Okay, now, so let me just first show you with the diagram, then only you can understand this. Okay, now, see here. In double link list, we'll write that node like this three fields minimum. What are those three fields? data field then this is next field next is what actually pointer correct and this is gain a pointer what it will hold previous correct it is previous nodes address this is how we represent the node in double link list okay now so what what it is going to hold data data will hold the actual data Next will hold the next node's address. Previous will hold the previous node's address. Understood? Now, my question. Wait, don't take down. First, we'll note down some points, then we'll note down the diagrams. What is the size of a node in the bunny list? Size of a node in double link list. <laughs> How much? Niharika, Gita, Raj, Sajid, Twelve. Amir. Twelve, ma'am. Twelve? Four, four, four. Maybe in my example, it is twelve, correct? In general, depends on the compiler, depends on the data also, na? Yes. In this example, yes, twelve. Yes. Correct? Everyone understood? Huh? Four plus four plus four. There it was eight. In our example, it was eight. Now it is going to be twelve. Each node which gets created is 12 months. You know what? From here to here, this part is same as like our single link list. The only thing is every time we have to take care of this link, link part of link part, which I'll call it as what? Because it will hold the previous nodes base address. This will hold the next nodes base address. Understood? Because of two links. What are those two links? I'll first clearly write the diagram, then only you'll understand. Because of two links, one link if you remove also, another link will be there. Each node will have minimum two links. Okay, now? Okay. First, we'll note down on a few points, then we'll come back to the diagram. Take down the heading as double link list. Hmm. It is a linear linear data structure first point second point it is what bidirectional it is bidirectional what do you mean by bidirectional forward and backward movement next point is a node in double linked list list must contain minimum minimum 
three fields. First one. One data field. To hold the actual data. Two fields. In that one. Next holds the next nodes this address. Peer EV you can take. Peer EV for previous, okay? Holds the previous nodes. Yes, of course. So one data field and two link field, you should know that. Okay, now. So we'll write the diagram now. Again, we are going to see this. This will remain same. Node will be created dynamically and linked logically. That point is same only. Okay, now. So now, how do we create the node? We'll try to understand. I mean, diagram wise first. Again, here what traversal path is the problem? Random access is not there. So we should use a start pointer. We should always point to the starting node base address only. So all those points will remain same. See now here. What's the first option? Tell me. Start equals to null. It means what? Double link list is empty. That's, that's the same thing like what we discussed in single link list. Okay. Second one. Suppose if the double link list has only one node, how it will be? Just click like that. Assume this address is going to be let's say thousand. Let's say this is data ten. This is called as what previous. This is called as data, and this is called as next. Now tell me what I should store in previous and next if I have only one node means. I don't have any address. I don't have any node. Who should point here first? Start should point here. Correct, huh? So this will be pointed by start pointer, huh? Only one node means what I should store here and here. Same address. No, it's it's like normal linked list, no, not circular. Null. Here I should store null. Previous what I should store? This also we should store null only. So when is this? This is when double linked list has single node. Correct? Huh? Only one node. When you have only one node in the double linked list, it is like this. Now we have more than one node. Write that. First node, second node, third one, let's say fourth one, and the fifth one. So I have total five nodes now. Out of five nodes now, like this. Hmm. We have three fields in each node. Three fields in each node. Hmm. Now this is going to be the start. Uh, let's say starting node, let's say 1000 I'll take. This I'll take it as 3000. This I'll take it as 6000. This is 2000. Let's let it be. Hmm. So now this is our third option. Who should hold 1000 now? Tell me. 1000 should be stored as start, start pointer should point that. 
data. What data you want to store? Let's say 10, anything randomly, 20. Some randomly I'm taking. Don't confuse with always sequential numbers only. It can be any data, okay? Done. Hmm. Now tell me, arrows. Here, here what I should store here? Null. Here. I should store here what? 3000, correct? Here. Here. 1000. It means what? Correct up what I wrote. Arrow got created like this and like this. Two links, that's how we represent it. Okay, now what I should store here? This is 6000 and here it is. 3,000. I'll write up all the ratings first. 2,000 and here it is. 6,000. Here. 4,000. Here. 2,000. Here. None. Okay. Now create the arrows. Forward arrow first always we write and then backward arrow. Again forward arrow. Backward arrow. Forward arrow and backward. So when this one, when the when the double link list has more than one node, so many nodes. Again, rule is C. Starting node will be pointed by start pointer. Starting node previous. Last node link will be grounded. Means null. Both the same. Actually, you know what? Uh, this arrow, if I write like this, you don't confuse that it is pointing here. It is actually pointing here. Correct? Huh? This is actually pointing here. If I write like this, see how diagram will look like. Overlapping and all will happen. See here? It is actually like this. We cannot understand it properly. See here? This way we have to write. This, I should again point here. See? This, I should point here. See how it is? All clumsy. So, we won't write that way. We just write it simple arrows like this. Understood? Huh? Okay. Now tell me, if I remove this null and store 1000, and if I remove this null and if I store 4000, what is that? This will come and point here, and this will come and point here. What is this? Circular double link list. Correct? Huh? How do you travel in circular double linked list? How do you travel? Understand my question. How do you travel in single linked list? Always forward movement. How do you travel in double linked list? Forward and backward, you should say. Hmm. How do you travel in single circular linked list? How do you say that? Circular forward direction only, you should say. Use the proper words. Circular forward movement only. Uh, now tell me, how do you travel in double circular link list? Circular forward and circular backward, you should say. That's the proper word to be used. Circular forward movement, circular backward movement. Understood? Correct? Hmm. Understood this now? Mala, I was telling now. In Mala, two rows are there today. That's all. Understood now? Everybody, that's all. We'll write the program for this. Everyone understood? Huh, any question? Rajkumar, Niharika? Any questions? Please ask me now. Uh, no, ma'am. No questions? Okay. Aishwarya, Ram. Where are my files are today? Someone deleted my files. Huh? Venu, huh? Sidhu has changed the system, I think. So, I'm not getting my PPTs here. I don't know what happened. I have created the PPTs actually for this also. Wait a minute, I'll take.
Let us start the program, then I'll just show you one PPT also. Okay, now. Hmm. Yeah, help me out for writing the program, no, no. Hmm. How do you write the program? Got the idea what exactly we're going to do? Hmm. Struct node as usual. Many things again repeats here. Huh? Struct node. Tell me here what I should write. Struct node star previous hmm. then when we write the diagram na, usually first we write previous data next so try to write the code also in that way it will be easy no rule you can first write into data then next then previous however you want to write you can write it into data but usual habit is like this okay no? next we write what struct node star next then structure declaration is done. Immediately, what next? Type the struct node as node. Two people start writing yourself. Start writing. Take down program for doubling list. Now huh. we'll leave the space for a little bit space. We'll leave it for the declarations. Huh. Next step. Int main function. Hmm. Tell me the main function. What we do? Start equals to null. Done. While. While of one now, first term. Loop. Infinite loop we need to enter. Huh. There, what we should write? Print it. One for add. Two for delete. Three for display. Four for exit. Reverse if you want. You add it and do it. Scan it. Percentage D. And a CH integer CH. Hey, do we have any difference in this main function? No, absolutely no. You can copy paste your single int list program. Main function, there is no difference. Switch of CH. Just observe your single int list program. If I am having means I could have copied and pasted it here. Case one. Case one for what? Add function. Break case two, delete break is three. Is three is for what display we have taken break then case four for what exit of zero. If you want, you add that std lib dot h uh, over now while loop closing. Then here what return zero close the main function. Just compare your single input list main, main main function. Same. Absolute. Have you written the program in your notebook? Single input list program. Complete program. You have written. Everybody, if you have not done, please write it once, at least in your notebook. See if you have executed here, if it is working fine, that you copy down into your notebook for future reference. Maybe see while typing, I might have done some mistake in the spelling mistake or bracket mistake and all. After you execute in the lab, you write down that program in your notebook. Okay, now. Just observe, there is absolutely no difference. It's the same code. What is extra? Tell me. What is extra from starting from the program from here till here? What is extra? Only one line. Leave one line extra. Correct. Huh? Still two more functions are going to be same only. Now, what next function I should define now? Add function. Hmm. I'll not write it all only. It's the same as that of your single list. Tell me what we do in add function. Menu will display. While one, add beginning, add at the end, add position. Fourth for return. Four is for return. Huh. Then scan for the choice. Then, no add function, you tell me what you have, what you are writing there. Huh. Menu display over, select, accepting the choices over. After that next line code, I'm asking you. If the choice is equal to one, or if the choice is two, or if the choice is three, what do we do? Call the get node function. What do we do in the get node function now? 
Hmm. You want me to write again? Why to write the code again? Same code. Hmm. Uh, one line also no difference here. Okay now. Same as single entry list code. Same. If the choice is one or two or three, get node function. Once we come from come back from the get node function, where we receive new node. Then switch case add beginning new node passing. Same thing. Okay now. You want me to write? You know now already the code. Anyone wants me to write? Geeta, Niharika, everybody knows now this code. Ah, then yes, get no. node function. We'll go to get node function. What we do in the get node function? Tell me. Get node function, what we do? What we do in the get node function? Tell me faster. We take one temporary pointer. Correct? Huh? What? Node star temp. Then what we do here? Temp equals to node star lock of size of node. You people please open your notebook where you have written your single link list program and set so that we'll compare it. It will be easy. Huh, done. Then then if temp if temp equal to equal to null DMA failed. Else accept from the user enter the data scan f and of temp arrow data. Then what do you do next one? Temp arrow next equals to null. <clears throat> then what we do? Return temp but in double link list here what we should write tell me node is created means previous data next is there next data we stored next we stored null previous what we should store ah write that code how to write the code how to write the code temp of previous equals to null then you should say return temp so if you are returning the temp here we should write what node start now wait starting from your single link list program starting from here main function then add function get node function correct huh? three functions we have completed how many line how many lines of code is extra tell me first one is here and this next one more extra code is this that is temp of previous is equal to little lines extra if you know those two, I told, I was telling you that only in single link list, understand the get node function properly because every, see, in circular link list, we did not write the get node function only. We just added that. Correct? Absolutely no difference. Now see how much difference we have. Hardly one, one line of code. Hope you people are getting it. Yes. Now add beginning we'll do then directly. Now where is start pointer? It is pointing to null. And we have created a new node by dynamically memo dynamic memory location concept. Data, some data we have stored. Temp of previous and means next and previous both are holding null. Now we'll come to the add beginning function. Hmm. Help me out for that. I'll write it here. This is our node which we have created. Null. We'll take the data as 10 only. Huh. Then temp of previous and temp of next both are null. So who is pointing to this when we come to the add beginning function? Add beginning function for the first time we are coming. Who will point? Us? Void. Hmm. Add underscore beginning. We receive it as what? Node star and then open the bracket and close the bracket. And who is this then? This is our NN. Correct? Huh? And where is start? Start is still pointing to no. Correct? Huh? Hmm. Tell me, how do you add it? If start equal to equal to null. Yeah, start is equal to null for the first time condition true. Yeah, what I should do? Start equals to and then. That, that's all, now. Then you should say return. Close. So who will point here now? Who is pointing here now? Start is pointing. 
correct huh? and then we'll go off because it's a temporary pointer so now start is no more pointing to null and nn is also not there only start pointer is pointing to the newly created node then go and come back once again bringing by what with a new node here now we have brought a new node which user wants to add it in the beginning of our single single uh, sorry double linked list let's say this address is 9000 okay now and uh, who is pointing to this nn whenever we come to the linked list uh, this one na add beginning so let's say data entered by the user is 67 who is here null i'll just write it as n okay then yeah we had come here for the second time correct huh? now start means what 1000 1000 is it equal to null no but user wants this new node to be in the starting node so what i should do i should remove this null and store what what i should store 1000 i should store tell me the code nn of next equal to start this is what we have done it in single link list also see there correct huh? then then what i should do here in double link list means i should do this backward linking now that means this null i should remove and i should store here 9000 correct huh? here i should store 9000 now correct huh? tell me the code start of previous equal to nn start of previous equals to nn that's it two links we have created ha huh. now if this is my starting node who should point here so nn should not point start should be brought here na so how to write the code for that start equals to nn ma'am your voice is low my voice is low oh well, yes ma'am now it is breaking also we'll ask this time now is it okay now no ma'am voice is so very low uh, yes ma'am it was audible till now and after that it is it has become very low we have not done any changes why okay so here what we should do start is equal to nn is it okay now oh uh, yes ma'am okay i have to speak it higher then <clears throat> okay now understood this now compare your single linked list program with double linked list and beginning program tell me which line is extra only this line now otherwise it's the same program only backward linking is extra we are creating understood huh? see the same code there is absolutely no difference only link is uh, only thing is we have to create the backward a uh, previous link we need to take care done clear we'll add at the end we'll do huh okay help me out for it now we'll write this code here anyhow i'll share the program to you but understood this now i added the end will do first wait tell me how we did add at the end in single linked list program how we did add at the end what we need for add at the end we need a temporary pointer we need to travel to the last node correct do you remember ah uh, see like this we have to do now we have to have let's say so many nodes and the last node is definitely contains null first node also containing null here so this is our start now what user wants to do user has brought a new node here the new node is having null here 
null here, some data, let's say eight. Eight is there. Let's say its address is 1800, something. Okay, now, and this is what? N N. Add it. How do you add it now? Tell me first, first. How do you add it? We need a temporary pointer. Void. Add it. Add at the end. Node star N N. Correct. Huh? Hmm. If uh, if uh, start equal to equal to null. True means the same thing. Like what? Start is equal to N N. Return. Start is equal to N N. Return. Correct. Huh? Done. Now. Ma'am. Your voice again breaking and not audible. Wait a minute, I'll call to our admin. Let him try once. What happened suddenly? Who's that? Aishwarya, Ram, Shaida, can you hear my voice properly? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Is it low? Is it low? Voice is low? Can you? You cannot hear me? No, no, no ma'am. It's proper audible. Thank you. Now, proper audible. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think so. It's a problem with that Hyderabad system. Maybe. Huh? We'll see. If again happens, you please ask me once again. Okay, now. Yeah, come back here. Now tell me, how do you add this node at the end? We want to link it here, now. If you want to link here, means who should come here? Temp. How do we bring the temp to the last position? We need temporary pointer, now Here, declare the temporary pointer. How do you declare a temporary pointer? Node star temp equals to start. Done. What is the looping condition? While Mm. Condition. Temp of next. We want to go and stand in the last one. We should not go out of it. Correct? Huh? So temp of next not equal to null. Temp of next not equal to null. Condition true. Condition true means what we should do? Move the temp. How do you move the temp? Temp is equal to temp of next. Just check your single English program. Same. There is absolutely no difference again. So temp will be for the first time here. Now, temp of next is not equal to null. Temp comes here. Temp of next not equal to null. Temp comes here. Now, temp of next is equal to null coming out. Hmm. Link it now. We should link this one here. Tell me the link code. Temp of next equals to NN. That's all we have done in single interlace. But here we have to take care one more now. What is that we should take care now? This. We have to create this link. That means this null you remove. This, let's say this is. 8,000 means we should store 8,000. Tell me how do you write the code? Yeah. NN of previous it is. NN of previous is equal to temp. Temp. Here, uh -huh. NN of previous is equal to temp. That's it. Correct? Uh? Have you understood? What is extra code now we have learned here? Tell me. Compared to single link list program, which which code is extra? Only this line now again. Hardly one line code. I don't want you people don't take down the program only. You do it yourself in the lab. Because you know single link list, you should know to do this very uh, extra code. I know you people can do it. Just take care of the diagram exam. Diagram help and write the code. You'll write it. I know. Understood this now? Add at the end is clear. Add position is little bit new thing. I know you people will answer. I'll ask you the question for that. Is this is clear now? Everybody will add at the will do add at the position first with the diagram. Okay now. Before that, in single English, how many pointers we were using? 
two pointers. You remember that temp one, temp two. Temp two was following temp one. Uh, if the position interpreter is two, oh, temp one will be at the second position. Temp one will be before. Then we were adjusting the links. Now, how many pointers we should use here? We should use only one pointer. That is the advantage of double link list. You know what here? If I remove this link, assume to do some adjustment and remove this link means there is still link. We'll not lose anything. But if it is only one link and if you remove, we lose it. So we were having two two pointers there. So first we'll understand the diagram. Okay now. For this again you need counter because position should be validated. That what we have done in single link list, same thing only we should do. Only one extra thing what we are doing here is we'll not use temp two. We'll use only temp one. Only one pointer we'll use to add the node in between any position. Okay. Let me write the diagram. Can you see that I have reduced the font size very less? I have done. Ma'am, nine thousand, ma'am, over there, and three thousand address field, like previous three thousand previous, is nine thousand. Hmm. Understand this one now. According to us, this is our zeroth node, first node, second node, and the third node. This is the new node which user wants to add it in between one and two. Correct? Huh? Between eighty nine and sixty seven, hundred should come. Are you understanding this? Okay. How do we do it? We need only one pointer. I told you, temp one, temp two. The temp two is not there. Where we used to keep the temp one? Suppose entered position is two. If the entered position is two, tell me where we used to keep the temp. Uh, what temp one? In the second position only. 
same thing we'll do it here also this is our temp one now correct huh? let it be temp one next hmm okay now see have you understood where and all we need to do changes now see here this null i should remove correct and i should store what i should store here 3000 i'll write it in some different color ha huh. 3000 i should store tell me how to write the code for this think 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 and answer n n now next equals to temp1 understood huh? we have done with this linking i'll write that this linking is done now i'll remove this null and i should store this tell me what address i should store here no wait what i should store here 9000 i should store 9000 tell me how to write it how to get 9000 now tell me how to write that what is the name of this box previous. whose previous it is and then now previous equals to i should get 9000 how to get 9000 If I have before before this, I have ten nodes. Means we can you write start up next? Should not start. You should not use start pointer for any operations. See here, I have only two nodes. You are saying start up next. It is okay. If I, before start, if I have one more node, means start up next. Start up next. You should write nothing. Very good. Temp of previous. Yes. Understand this now, everybody. Temp of previous means how much? See, temp of previous means this, or this one and the same only, na? So, temp of previous means nine thousand. I'm storing in what? In a not previous. That means this arrow is also created. Just observe what I did. Two arrows which are going out of N N I created. Now I should create two arrows which will come inside N N. Now, that means this I'll do it now. It is pointing here. It should come and point to six thousand only, na? Here itself it should point. That means here I should store what? Six thousand. How to get six thousand? Who who is pointing to six thousand now? N N. N N. So now I should store N N. Where I should store this N N? Inside this box. Name this box now. What is the name of this box? Temp of next means this, na? Temp of previous means he is pointing here. I am asking you only this box name. Who's next? Temp of previous. Very good. That's all the new thing. See here, it's a new thing. I told you people. Repeat. Temp of previous. Temp of previous arrow next. You should write like this. Equals to n n. You should write like this. This is the new thing which you are learning in double English. You know, otherwise rest all are you people are saying. Understand this now. Temp means how much? Three thousand. Temp of previous means how much? Nine thousand. Of next means this box only, na? Is it equal to n n? N n means n n means how much? Six thousand. We are storing six thousand here. That means this arrow is created. Understood. This this code is create. Understood this code. Go like this and come back. U turn, kind of thing. Understood, ah? Huh? Only you need to identify the name of this box. How do you identify the name of this box? Temp. Temp means how much? Three thousand. Temp of previous means how much? Nine thousand. Of next means this box. Got it, ah? Huh? Everybody, you only said. I told you. You people only will answer. I told you. See, you have said. Over. Now I should create the link which should come inside this here. That means this nine thousand I should remove and I should store this address. That means six thousand only I should store. How do you get six thousand? Who is pointing to six thousand? N N. That means N N. We are storing in which position? In this box. What is the name of this box? Easily you can say now. Temp of previous. Temp of previous equals to n n. Understood? Huh? The same. Uh, first, you are asking from the user to enter the data, enter the position. 
position less than or equal to count using that for loop temp2 temp1 we are using remove of temp1 from temp2 from your single linked list program for this double linked list then you need to do these four lines of code because four parts we have to change it now four links see two going out of an end two coming inside an end that means four links see what all the boxes we changed this 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 and this four links we have changed in that the new thing is which i have highlighted understood everybody add position is clear online students is it clear this 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 is the new thing which you people are learning in double link list otherwise almost same only previous part we were taking here why this is possible because we are traveling backward and see we are traveling in a backward direction also this correct huh? forward direction also we can travel backward direction also we can we can uh, what travel and one more thing is if you remove any one link also we are not going to lose anything because another link is there still for us so one pointer is enough for us okay na geeta niharika yeah clear it is yes ma'am ah okay aishwarya drishya shaida yes ma'am yes ma'am we we'll start the delete operation then how do we delete start telling me much difference is not there again we have to take it everywhere uh, what the previous position i will not say this anything now you people are going to tell me how do we delete it now delete beginning tell me i don't want this node who is pointing as of now start pointer so how do we delete it now tell me what we need first of all what we need two pointers for delete beginning in single link list only we use one pointer na ah one pointer is enough for one temporary pointer what's the initialization of temp1 temp temp one is equal to start then start is equal to start of next so start will come here done next free the temp what is the rule if i don't have this node here what should be there null have you stored it if you destroy this one this pointer is still pointing to the destroyed memory dangling pointer again so what you should store here we should store null how do you do that check now nah, what you people have done void delete underscore beginning ha huh. then this will remain same if start equal to equal to null single link list is empty double link list is empty etc correct ah huh? if not what we will, what we will write here node star temp equals to start hmm. then here what i should write start is equal to start of next and we were saying free temp there but here we need to take care of the uh, is start of previous equals to null then you should say free temp otherwise segmentation fault will happen you should do this this line is extra for okay. Ma'am, ma'am, 